Adventure Among the Cacti, Kangoo the Kangaroo Explores the Mysteries of the Outback. Kangoo the Kangaroo lived happily in the vast plains of Australia. One day, as he jumped and bounced joyfully through the fields, he noticed something strange in the distance. It was a group of cacti standing proudly under the shining sun. Intrigued, Kangoo decided to approach them to examine them closely. Approaching the cacti, Kangoo was initially surprised by their spiky and strange shapes. He had never seen anything like it before. Intrigued, he decided to cautiously touch one of the cacti. But as soon as he lightly touched the thorns, his paw was pricked. He let out a little cry of pain, but quickly regained his composure. Curious about these strange plants, he decided to explore them further. Moving among the cacti, Kangoo discovered an incredible variety of shapes and colors. Some were tall and slender, others were smaller and round. Some were light green, others were almost red. Fascinated by the diversity of these plants, Kangoo let his curiosity take over and continued to explore them. As he made his way through the cacti, Kangoo was surprised to discover that they provided shelter for many wild animals. Lizards hid under the spines, birds built their nests on top of the cacti, and even small mammals navigated through the spines to feed on the juicy fruits. Fascinated by this new discovery, Kangoo realized how much nature was full of surprises and wonders. He promised himself to come back often to this corner of Australia to observe and learn more about the cacti and creatures living there. And so, Kangoo the kangaroo continued to explore the vast plains of Australia, always in search of new adventures and exciting discoveries. Elliot the Elephant, an unforgettable adventure at the mysterious oasis. Once upon a time, in the African savannah, there was an elephant named Elliot. Elliot was a curious and adventurous elephant, always seeking new discoveries. One day, he decided to leave the savannah to explore the desert that stretched beyond. He walked for days, crossing scorching sand dunes and dry expanses, until he finally arrived at an astonishing place, a lush oasis in the middle of the desert. With wide eyes of surprise, Elliot approached the oasis and discovered a pool of fresh water surrounded by lush palm trees. He eagerly drank the clear water and rolled in the mud to cool off. It was like a little piece of paradise in the midst of the vast desert. Intrigued, Elliot decided to explore further and found that the oasis was home to a whole community of desert animals. He met a group of meerkats who warmly greeted him and showed him around their underground burrow. He chatted with the talkative lizard and enjoyed watching squirrels agilely jumping from tree to tree. Elliot quickly felt at home among these new friends and decided to stay for a while to enjoy the tranquility of the oasis. The days passed and Elliot got used to the peaceful life of the oasis. He spent his days walking under the palm trees, bathing in the pond, and playing with the other animals. But one evening, a violent sandstorm hit the oasis, threatening to destroy everything in its path. The animals took refuge in their shelters, but Elliot, as a strong elephant, stood up to protect his friends. He stood before the storm, his large ears stirring the sand powerfully, and with a thunderous roar, he drove the storm away and saved the oasis. The animals thanked him warmly and offered him a feast in his honour. That evening, the oasis echoed with songs and laughter, and Elliot felt happier than ever to have discovered this wonderful place. The next morning, Elliot decided it was time for him to resume his journey. He said goodbye to his friends, 
taking with him precious memories of his stay at the oasis. But before leaving, he planted a tree to symbolize his passage and for future generations to enjoy the beauty of the place. Then, with one last nostalgic look, Elliot set off, ready to experience new adventures. And so the elephant Elliot left the oasis, his heart filled with gratitude and love for this special place. He continued his journey through the desert, confident that the oasis and his friends would always remain there, watching over this magical land in the midst of aridity. And wherever he went, Elliot knew that he had found a place where he felt at home, surrounded by friends and wonders of nature. Elliot the Elephant's Enchanted Feast, The Discovery of the Red Fruits of the African Savanna Once upon a time in the African Savanna, there was an elephant named Elliot. Elliot was a curious and adventurous elephant, always seeking new discoveries. One day, as he was wandering in search of food, he came across a tree full of delicious unknown fruits. Intrigued by their shape and bright red color, Elliot decided to taste them. He took a bite of the juicy and sweet fruit, and an explosion of flavors filled his mouth. He had never tasted anything so delicious. He began to eat eagerly, savoring every bite. The fruits were so good that Elliot wondered how he had lived without knowing them before. Fascinated by this discovery, Elliot decided to pick up a bag full of them to share with his friends in the savanna. He set off, savoring each step, eager to introduce them to this delight. On the way, he met Leah the lioness, who was out hunting. Intrigued by the enchanting scent of the fruits, she joined him in his quest. Together, they arrived at the water point where their friends were resting. Elliot presented the fruits to Leon the leopard, Zara the zebra, and Hugo the hippopotamus. All were intrigued by these new findings and began to taste. Their eyes lit up with surprise and joy as they tasted these delicious fruits. The animals began to share and exchange their impressions on these still unknown fruits. They all enjoyed themselves together, laughing and having fun around this improvised feast. Elliot was happy to see his friends so happy and felt his heart fill with joy and gratitude. In the evening, the animals parted ways, sated and grateful for this special day. Elliot went back home, his heart filled with warmth and happiness. He lay down under a starry sky, already dreaming of all the adventures and discoveries that awaited him tomorrow. And so, Elliot the Elephant discovered the taste of fruits, not only for his own pleasure, but also to share with his friends. This day would forever be engraved in his memory as one of the most beautiful and flavorful of his life. And every time he bit into one of those delicious red fruits, he remembered that magical day and all the moments of sharing and happiness it had brought. Kangu the Legend of the Curious Kangaroo Once upon a time, there was a very curious kangaroo named Kangu who lived in Australia. Kangu loved to explore the vast expanses of his country and hop through the hills and deserts. Every day, he set out on adventures, discovering new places and meeting various animals. One morning, Kangu decided to go to Sydney to visit the famous opera house. On the way, he met a koala who asked for help to find his favorite tree. Kangu agreed to help, and together they went through the forest in search of the tree. Eventually, they found it, and the koala warmly thanked Kangu for his help. After this adventure, Kangu resumed his journey towards Sydney. On the way, he met a wombat who had lost his family. Kangu decided to help him find them, and they set out to search for traces of his loved ones. After a long search, they finally found them resting under a tree. The wombat was extremely grateful to Kangu for his precious help. 
Once in Sydney, Kangu visited the opera house and was amazed by its beauty. He strolled through the gardens and listened to a classical music concert. It was an unforgettable day for the curious kangaroo. After exploring the city, Kangu decided to return to the hills and deserts of Australia. On the way, he met an echidna who asked for help in finding insects to eat. Kangu knew exactly where to find the best insects and guided the echidna to an abandoned beehive. The echidna feasted and thanked Kangu for his valuable assistance. Kangu The kangaroo's journey was far from over. He came across a colorful parrot looking for a new home. Kangu took him to a lush forest and helped him build a comfortable nest. The parrot was thrilled with his new home and thanked Kangu for his generous help. Eventually, Kangu arrived in the hills and deserts of Australia. He joyfully hopped through the beautiful landscapes, greeting kangaroos and emus he encountered along the way. Kangu felt at peace and happy to be living in such a beautiful place. The curious kangaroo decided to stop near a pond to rest. He watched the sunset on the horizon and felt the gentle breeze caressing his face. Kangu was grateful for all the adventures he had experienced and for all the precious encounters he had made. So Kangu the kangaroo fell peacefully asleep under the starry sky of Australia, knowing that new adventures awaited him upon waking. And so the curious kangaroo continued to explore the wonders of his country and help those he encountered, becoming a legend of Australia. Kangu and the Merry Koalas, A Magical Adventure in the Australian Forests Once upon a time, in the vast forests of Australia, there was a young kangaroo named Kangu. Kangu was a very curious and adventurous kangaroo who loved to explore the different corners of the forest and meet new creatures. Unfortunately, Kangu felt lonely because he didn't have any friends to share his adventures with. One day, Kangu decided to go in search of friends in the forest. He jumped from branch to branch crossed rivers and climbed hills, hoping to meet someone to play with. After hours of searching, Kangu began to feel discouraged. But suddenly, he heard laughter and whispers coming from a bush. Intrigued, Kangu headed towards the bush and discovered a group of koalas playing hide-and-seek. He approached timidly and asked if he could join them. The koalas welcomed Kangu with open arms and offered to play with him. Kangu was over the moon to finally have found some friends. Days passed and Kangu spent all his time with his new friends. They played hide and seek, raced in the trees, and invented new fun games. Kangu finally felt happy and fulfilled to have found such a wonderful group of friends. One day, the koalas suggested to Kangu to accompany them on an adventure to explore a mysterious cave deep in the forest. Excited at the prospect of experiencing a new adventure, Kangu accepted enthusiastically. The friends prepared themselves and set off towards the cave, ready to face any dangers that would come their way. After walking for hours through the forest, they finally arrived at the entrance of the cave. It was dark and mysterious, but the friends were determined to discover what was hidden inside. Together, they cautiously advanced into the cave, lighting their way with lanterns they had brought along. As they continued forward, they discovered shiny stalactites and strange inscriptions on the walls of the cave. They were fascinated by so many mysteries and adventures. Suddenly, a strange noise echoed in the cave, sending shivers down the friends' spines. But they held on to each other and continued to move forward, braver than ever. Finally, they reached a vast room at the heart of the cave, where a shimmering treasure was located. The friends were amazed by such beauty and magic. They decided to share the treasure among themselves, 
thus sealing their friendship forever. Kangu was grateful to have found true friends who accepted him for who he was, and he knew he would never be alone in the forest again. And so Kangu the kangaroo and his koala friends lived through many extraordinary adventures in the forests of Australia, always united by a sincere and unwavering friendship. Kiko the koala soaring towards adventure. Once upon a time, in a beautiful forest, there was an adorable little koala named Kiko. This koala was very curious and loved to explore the different places in the forest. One day, as he wandered from branch to branch, he spotted a mysterious path that seemed to lead to an unknown place. Without hesitation, Kiko decided to follow this path to discover what was hidden at the end. The further he advanced, the darker and more mysterious the path became. Kiko was starting to feel a little uneasy, but his curiosity was stronger than his fear. He kept moving forward, searching for clues about what awaited him at the end of the path. Suddenly, he heard strange noises and whispers coming from behind the trees. Trembling slightly, Kiko slipped between the branches to try to understand where the sounds were coming from. He then discovered an enchanted clearing, filled with little fairies dancing and singing around a magical fountain. Kiko stood speechless in front of this fairy tale spectacle and felt transported to a fantastical world. The fairies, surprised to see a koala in their clearing, approached Kiko slowly, smiling at him. They explained to him that the magic fountain granted the wishes of those who visited it with a pure heart. Kiko was amazed by this discovery and decided to make a wish. He has to be able to fly like the birds to explore the forest from above. The fairies, touched by Kiko's sincerity, granted him his wish. Suddenly, wings started to grow on the back of the little koala who joyfully flew into the air. He flew over the forest, discovering beautiful landscapes and meeting extraordinary animals. Kiko felt free and happy like never before. However, after exploring the forest for hours, Kiko began to feel tired and decided to come back down to Earth. The fairies had warned him that his gift of flight would be temporary and that he would not be able to use it forever. The little koala landed gently at the base of the magic fountain, his heart filled with gratitude towards the fairies. He thanked the little fairy creatures for this wonderful gift and promised to come back and see them soon. Kiko walked back on the path having lived an incredible and magical adventure. He realized that there were so many wonders to discover in the forest and that he should never stop exploring and marveling. And so Kiko the koala became the bravest and most curious of all the animals in the forest, continuing to explore the branches with an insatiable spirit of adventure and discovery. The other animals looked at him with admiration and envy, wishing to live adventures as extraordinary as Kiko's. The little koala had become a true living legend in the forest, inspiring all those who crossed his path. And this incredible adventure was only just beginning for Kiko the koala. Leah the giraffe searching for the bamboo forest and monkey friends. Once upon a time, in the small African savanna, there was an adorable giraffe named Leah. Leah was a very greedy giraffe, and she loved to roam the savannah in search of new plants to eat. One day, while wandering, she heard about a mysterious bamboo forest located north of the savannah. Intrigued by this new discovery, Leah decided to explore this forest and all the delights it must contain. The bamboo forest was dense and thick, but Leah was not discouraged. She began to make her way through the tall bamboo stalks, desperately searching for something to eat. But the more she advanced, the more she realised that the forest was much larger and complex than she had imagined. She started to feel lost and hungry. Luckily, Leah was a resourceful giraffe, and she didn't let herself be easily discouraged. She set out to find a clearing, or a place where the vegetation seemed more promising. 
After hours of walking, she finally found a small corner of the forest where the bamboo seemed softer and more appetising. Leah enjoyed this discovery and promised herself to come back regularly to this sanctuary of delights. However, returning to the savannah proved to be more difficult than expected. Leah had eaten so much that she had trouble moving through the small paths in the forest. She soon found herself stuck between two trees, unsure of how to escape. Fortunately, a family of monkeys living in the forest came to her rescue and helped her find her way back. Thanks to the help of the monkeys, Leah was finally able to return to the savannah safe and sound. She was extremely grateful to her new friends and vowed to never forget this adventure. Now, whenever she felt like exploring new horizons, Leah knew she could count on the support of the animals in the bamboo forest. And thus, Leah the giraffe lived many more adventures, exploring the savannah and surrounding lands in search of new exotic plants to taste. She never forgot the bamboo forest and the monkeys who had saved her, and she lived happily and fulfilled until the end of her days. The moral of this story is that sometimes you have to rely on others to overcome obstacles and find your way in life. Leah the Giraffe and the Journey to a Thousand Colors and Unforgettable Adventure in Asia Once upon a time, there was a giraffe named Leah who lived in the African savanna with her family. One day, while walking near a river, she heard a strange noise. Intrigued, she decided to go see what was happening. As she got closer, she saw a huge exotic bird with bright colors. Curious, she decided to follow it through the jungle. After hours of walking, the bird took her to a large boat sailing on the ocean. Leah climbed on board and discovered that the boat was headed towards an unknown continent. During the journey, she befriended the members of the crew, who told her stories about the wonders of Asia. When the boat finally docked, Leah was eager to explore this new world. She was amazed by the magnificent landscapes and vibrant colors of Asia. She met majestic elephants, playful pandas, and mischievous monkeys. She tasted exotic dishes like fried rice and spiced tea. She danced to enchanting music and attended colorful festivals. But what impressed Leah the most were the ancient temples and sumptuous palaces. She felt transported to another time, between tradition and modernity. She met wise monks and talented artists. She grew fond of these rich and diverse cultures. Throughout her adventures, Leah discovered the strength of friendship and diversity. She understood that despite their differences, the people of the world were all united by the same values. She realized that beauty could be found everywhere, in the little things of everyday life as well as in the grandiose monuments. After exploring every corner of Asia, Leah decided to return home, full of memories and emotions. She realized that the trip had transformed her outlook on the world and that she would never be the same again. She thanked her new friends and promised to come back one day to share these magical moments again. Back in Africa, Leia recounted her adventures to her family and friends. She shared with them the richness and diversity of Asia the life lessons she had learned, and the gratitude she felt towards this wonderful continent. And thus, thanks to her journey, Leah the giraffe had travelled around the world without leaving her heart. Leon, the adventurous llama, exploring the mysterious pyramids of Mexico. 
Once upon a time, there was a llama named Leon who lived in the mountains of South America. Leon was a curious and adventurous llama who loved to discover new, fascinating places. One day, he heard about the pyramids of Mexico, ancient and mysterious structures that attracted many visitors from around the world. Intrigued by these architectural wonders, Leon decided to embark on an adventure and discover for himself the mysteries of the pyramids. After a long journey through mountains, deserts, and jungles, Leon finally arrived at the Pyramids of Mexico. The sight of the immense stone structures left him speechless. He felt very small next to these impressive monuments that seemed to defy time. Leon began to explore the pyramids, climbing the steps and discovering the secret rooms hidden inside. He was amazed by the beauty and complexity of these ancient constructions. Each stone had a story to tell, each sculpture a mysterious meaning. As he continued his explorations, Leon befriended the local inhabitants who told him legends and stories about the ancient peoples who had built the pyramids. He learned that these monuments were places of worship and ceremony dedicated to the gods and spirits of nature. Leon enjoyed every moment spent with the people of Mexico, sharing delicious meals, listening to traditional music, and dancing to the beat of the drums. He felt at home among these warm and welcoming people. One day, during a walk in the surroundings of the pyramids, Leon made an extraordinary discovery. He found a secret passage that led him to an underground room adorned with ancient treasures. Sparkling jewels, precious artifacts, mysterious frescoes, decorated the walls of the secret chamber. Leon was fascinated by so much wealth and beauty. He felt like an explorer of the old world, discovering treasures lost for centuries. He knew he was privileged to be able to admire these treasures and uncover the hidden secrets of the pyramids. After spending days exploring the pyramids and enjoying the company of the locals in Mexico, Leon decided it was time to continue his journey. He left the magnificent pyramids, taking with him unforgettable memories and precious treasures. On the way back, Leon thought back to his incredible adventure at the pyramids of Mexico. He promised himself to come back one day to further explore these ancient wonders and to uncover new hidden secrets. But for now, he was happy to return home, his heart filled with gratitude for this extraordinary experience. Marcel the Sheep, the leader of the farm facing adversity. Once upon a time, on a distant farm, there was a sheep named Marcel. Marcel was a very kind sheep, always ready to help his animal friends. One day, the farmer decided to go on vacation and entrusted Marcel with the responsibility of the farm. The sheep was very happy with this mission and immediately got to work. He started by cleaning the barn with the help of the other farm animals. Rooster Maurice was in charge of watching the sky to announce the weather, while Cow Camille was putting away the gardening tools. Pig Gaston was cleaning the barn, and Rabbit Leon was sorting seeds in the attic. All the animals were working in harmony, under the direction of Marcel, the vigilant sheep. While Marcel was tidying up the farm with his friends, a sudden storm arose. The wind was blowing fiercely, and the rain was beating down on the ground. The animals were caught off guard, but Marcel kept his cool and took the lead. 
He organized the evacuation of the animals into the barn and kept them safe. Thanks to his quick thinking, all the animals were secure. The storm lasted all night, but the following morning, the sun shone again. Marcel and his friends came out of the barn to assess the damage. The trees had been uprooted, the vegetable garden was flooded, and the barn roof had been damaged. But Marcel did not let himself be discouraged. He gathered the animals and gave them tasks to rebuild the farm. The horse Oscar carried the materials, the hen Suzette prepared the meals, and the dog Max kept watch over the surroundings. Marcel distributed instructions and supervised the work. Despite the obstacles, the animals worked with determination to restore the farm. After several days of hard work, the farm was finally rebuilt. The animals were proud of the work accomplished and thanked Marcel for his leadership and dedication. The farmer returned from his vacation and was impressed by the state of the farm. Marcel, the brave sheep, had managed to face adversity and allowed the farm to overcome challenges. He had shown everyone that unity is strength and that nothing is impossible when working together. The farm animals were grateful to Marcel and knew they could always rely on him if needed. And so Marcel the sheep became the hero of the farm, admired and respected by all. Olaf the Globetrotter, the snowman who conquered a tropical island. Once upon a time, in a distant kingdom, there was a snowman named Olaf. Olaf was a very special snowman because he could talk, move, and even travel. He lived in a small, snowy village where he spent his days playing with children and helping adults clear the roads of snow. One day, Olaf decided that he needed a vacation. He had heard of a distant tropical island that was sunny and where there was no snow. He set off with his backpack filled with light clothes and sunscreen. After a long journey by train, plane, and boat, Olaf finally arrived on the island. As soon as he stepped foot on the hot sand, Olaf felt invigorated. He took a deep breath and embarked on exploring the island. He discovered beautiful beaches, palm trees swaying gently in the wind, and a sparkling turquoise sea. Olaf encountered many exotic animals such as colorful parrots, playful monkeys, and even a giant tortoise. He spent his days swimming in the ocean, sunbathing on the beach, and enjoying delicious tropical fruits. But one day, a tropical storm struck the island. The strong winds were blowing, the waves were raging, and the rain was pouring. Olaf found himself trapped in his beach hut, trembling with fear. Luckily, Olaf had met a little girl from the village who had gotten to know him and appreciate him. She rushed to his rescue, protecting him from the rain and the raging elements. Together, they found shelter in a cave and waited for the storm to calm down. When calm was restored, Olaf warmly thanked the little girl for her precious help. He realized how important it was to rely on others in times of difficulty. Finally, the storm passed and the sun shone again. Olaf decided it was time to go back home. He said goodbye to his new friends and started on the journey back, carrying with him wonderful memories of his adventure on the island. Back in his snow-covered village, Olaf recounted his incredible vacation to the inhabitants, who listened with fascination. They were all delighted to see their friend, the snowman, who had returned grown and enriched from his journey. And from that day on, Olaf continued to share his adventures and the lessons he learned with anyone who wanted to listen, proving that even a snowman could experience extraordinary moments. Oscar the Greedy Bear Searching for Lost Fruits Once upon a time in a beautiful forest, there was an adorable bear named Oscar. Oscar loved to venture into the woods in search of fruits to eat. One day, 
as he was walking peacefully, he found a tree that was loaded with delicious red cherries. He approached with curiosity and took one to taste. The cherry was juicy and sweet. Oscar enjoyed it and ate several more. He then decided to continue his exploration in search of other fruits. As he advanced in the forest, Oscar found a bush filled with raspberries. He couldn't resist the urge to taste one and was delighted by their tangy flavour. He promised himself to come back later to pick them to bring back to his family. Then he discovered a red currant bush and enjoyed these small refreshing fruits. Further on, Oscar found an apple tree loaded with juicy and crispy apples. He picked one and took a big bite. It was delicious. He then decided to fill his basket with apples to share with his friends. Continuing his walk, he found a blackberry bush. He loved their sweet and tangy flavour and ate them with gusto. After tasting all kinds of delicious fruits, Oscar felt full but happy about his discovery. He decided to go back home to share his findings with his animal friends. On the way back, he met a squirrel who asked him what he had found so delicious. Oscar showed him his fruits and offered him some. The squirrel enjoyed them and thanked Oscar warmly for his generosity. Arrived at his home, Oscar shared his fruits with his friends, the rabbits, birds and foxes. Everyone enjoyed the feast and thanked Oscar for this wonderful discovery. Oscar was happy to see his friends so happy and knew that he had done a good deed by sharing his findings. From that day on, Oscar continued to explore the forest in search of new fruits to discover and share with his friends. He had become the best fruit picker in the forest and everyone loved him for his generosity and kindness. And so, the little story of Oscar the bear and the fruits to eat was passed down from generation to generation in the forest, bringing happiness to all the animals who lived there. Pablo the Panda and the Great Wall of China, an unforgettable adventure. Once upon a time, there was a panda named Pablo, who lived in a beautiful nature reserve in China. Pablo was a very curious and adventurous panda, always seeking new discoveries. One day, he heard about the famous Great Wall of China, a stunning historical monument that stretches for kilometers across the country. Fascinated by this architectural wonder, Pablo decided to go on a trip to see it with his own eyes. The journey to the Great Wall of China was long and grueling for Pablo, but nothing could shake his determination. Finally, after days of walking through mountains and valleys, he arrived in front of the imposing stone structure that stood before him. Pablo was in awe of the grandeur of the wall and the history that emanated from its ancient stones. Without wasting a second, Pablo began to explore the Great Wall of China. He climbed the steep steps with agility, his black and white furs standing out against the gray stones in the background. As he made his way, Pablo discovered magnificent landscapes and breathtaking panoramas. He could see as far as the eye could see the lush mountains, shimmering rivers, and picturesque villages sprawling below. Pablo also met other curious animals that lived along the Great Wall of China, he befriended a clever and mischievous fox, a colorful bird with bright feathers, and a playful rabbit who loved to play hide and seek. Together they explored every corner of the wall, marveling at the wonders they found at every turn. Throughout his adventures, Pablo formed friendships with the residents of the neighboring villages. The children adored him and offered him fresh bamboo, his favorite food, the elders told him mysterious legends about the Great Wall of China and the importance of preserving this national treasure for future generations. Pablo realized then that the Great Wall of China was much more than just a historical monument. It was a symbol of resilience and perseverance for the Chinese people. He decided to stay for a while to help maintain and protect the wall, convinced that every gesture mattered in preserving this ancient treasure. 
The days passed, and Pablo became more and more integrated into the local community. He participated in traditional festivities, danced with the villagers, and tasted delicious culinary specialties of the region. He felt at home on the Great Wall of China, surrounded by love and kindness. Finally, the time came for Pablo to continue his journey and head back home. He bid farewell to the new friends he had made along the Great Wall of China, promising to come back one day to share new adventures and discoveries. With a tear in his eye, Pablo left this magical place filled with history and unforgettable memories, ready to continue his journey in other distant lands. One thing was certain, Pablo the Panda was an adventurer at heart, always ready to explore the world and experience extraordinary adventures. Pablo the Generous Panda in Search of True Wealth Once upon a time, in the vast bamboo forest of China, there was a little panda named Pablo. He was a very mischievous panda and always on the lookout for new adventures. But his consuming passion was to find the most delicious and juicy bamboos in the entire forest. Every morning, Pablo would wake up early, ready to go in search of these precious plants. He roamed the bamboo forest, jumping and climbing from tree to tree, his black and white fur shining under the sun's rays. Pablo was known by all the inhabitants of the forest for his insatiable appetite and determination to find the best bamboo. But despite his efforts, he never managed to find the perfect bamboo. One day, while exploring a part of the forest he had never visited before, Pablo heard a strange noise. Intrigued, he headed towards the source of the noise and discovered a large bamboo tree. But it was no ordinary tree, as it was covered with bamboo of exceptional size and color. Pablo's eyes lit up with joy at the sight of these beautiful and appetizing bamboo shoots. He immediately started climbing the tree to reach these precious plants. But the higher he climbed, the further the bamboo seemed to be. Pablo persisted, determined to taste these delights. Finally, after many efforts, he managed to grab one of the bamboo shoots and eat it eagerly. But to his great surprise, the bamboo started growing in his mouth, becoming bigger and bigger. Pablo started to panic, wondering what was happening to him. He tried to spit out the bamboo, but to no avail. He was trapped. As he thought it was the end for him, a soft and warm voice was heard. It was the spirit of the forest speaking to him. He explained to Pablo that these magical bamboo were a gift for those who respected nature and were willing to show generosity towards others. Pablo then understood that the key to getting the best bamboo was not to keep them for himself, but to share them with others. The panda suddenly felt filled with immense joy and infinite gratitude towards the forest and its inhabitants. He started offering magical bamboos to all those in need, spreading generosity and kindness around him. And every new day, Pablo continued his quest for the most perfect bamboos, not for himself, but to share them with those in need. Thus, Pablo became the most loved and respected panda in the forest, because he had understood that true wealth was not found in material things, but in sharing and compassion towards others. And every time he came across a new magical bamboo tree, Pablo remembered this life lesson and passed it on to all those who were lucky enough to cross his path. And so, the tale of Pablo the generous and loving panda was told from generation to generation, inspiring thousands of children to follow in his footsteps in the quest for true soul wealth. Pablo the 
Pablo's gourmet quest adventures and bamboos at the top of the mountain. Once upon a time in the peaceful forest of Bambooville, there was a panda named Pablo. Pablo was a very greedy panda, and his favorite food was delicious bamboos. Every day, he set out in search of the best and most succulent bamboos to feast on. But one day, Pablo realized that he had exhausted all the bamboo reserves near his habitat. He decided to go on an adventure in search of new places where he could find tasty bamboos. He traveled for miles in search of food, exploring unknown territories and meeting new friends like Leon the leopard and Rosie the rabbit. Together, they searched for bamboo trails, but in vain. Pablo began to feel discouraged, but he refused to give up his delicious bamboo feast. He sought advice from the wise animals of the forest. The old tortoise told him that the best bamboos were located at the top of the snowy mountain. Pablo gathered his courage and began the ascent, braving the storms and avalanches. After much effort, he finally reached the summit of the mountain, where he discovered a lush bamboo forest. He feasted on these delights, feeling satisfied and happy. But his happiness was short-lived, for he realized that the mountain was the territory of the fearsome yetis. Pablo had to use all his cunning to avoid their sharp claws and protect his precious bamboo loot. He was able to then safely descend from the mountain with a bountiful harvest of bamboo in his arms. Back in Bambooville, Pablo was welcomed as a hero by the forest inhabitants, who celebrated his courage and determination. He shared his bamboos with all his friends, making them happy and grateful. Since that day, Pablo was considered the greatest explorer and most generous of pandas in the forest. He had found a treasure much more precious than bamboos, friendship and solidarity with his fellow travellers. And together, they lived happily and enjoyed bamboos for the rest of their days. Peter the Rabbit discovers the City of Lights, an unforgettable adventure in Paris. Once upon a time, there was a small rabbit named Pierre. He lived in a small clearing on the edge of the forest. One day, Pierre decided it was time for him to go on an adventure and discover the world around him. He packed his backpack with some carrots and set out on his way. After walking for hours through fields and forests, Pierre finally arrived in the city of Paris. He was amazed by everything he saw, the tall buildings, the bustling streets, the magnificent monuments. After getting a little used to this new environment, Pierre decided to start his tour of the City of Light. He first went to the Eiffel Tower, which was so big and majestic that he felt very small next to it. Then, he walked along the Seine, watching the boats pass by and admiring the pretty bridges. He stopped in front of Notre Dame Cathedral, which he found so beautiful and impressive that he was left speechless. After visiting the main tourist sites in Paris, Pierre decided to stop and grab a bite to eat. He found a small bakery selling delicious baguettes and croissants and enjoyed his meal. Then, he set off on another adventure, exploring the narrow streets and small squares of the city. At the end of the day, tired but happy from his visit, Pierre decided to head back to the forest. He took the train in the opposite direction and soon found himself back home. He told his adventures to his friends, the animals of the forest, who listened to him with fascination. Pierre was very proud of his day in Paris and knew that he would always remember this beautiful experience. Remy the Reindeer, the Christmas Star Once upon a time, in the sparkling snow of the winter forest, there was a reindeer named Remy. Remy was a particularly cheerful and energetic reindeer, always ready to help others and roll up his sleeves to assist Santa Claus 
in preparing for Christmas. Every year, Remy was in charge of watching over the toy workshop, distributing gift lists to the elves, and ensuring that everything went smoothly so that the magic of Christmas could operate worldwide. His brown fur and sparkling eyes gave him a gentle and kind appearance, making him the favourite reindeer of all the residents of the North Pole. This year, however, things seemed a little different. Santa Claus was busier than ever overseeing the manufacturing of toys, and Remy was feeling a bit anxious. The elves seemed overwhelmed by the work, and the pressure was palpable in the air. Remy then decided to take matters into his own hands and organise the preparation for Christmas himself. He began searching for the best elves to help him in his task, and together they got to work. They spent hours stacking toys, checking gift lists, and preparing the sleighs for the big Christmas night. Remy was an exceptional team leader, motivating his colleagues and ensuring everything was perfect for the big day. The days passed quickly, and soon the North Pole was ready for Christmas. The reindeer were ready, the elves were excited, and Santa himself was impressed by Remy and his team's work. Christmas Eve finally arrived, and Remy was trembling with excitement as he prepared to set off for the big trip. The sleigh bells rang out in the quiet night, and soon the reindeer took off into the starry sky. Remy could feel the magic of Christmas surrounding him as they flew through the clouds, delivering gifts to all the children around the world. After a long night of travelling, the team of reindeer returned to the North Pole, exhausted but happy. Santa Claus warmly congratulated Remy for his exceptional work, and all the elves hurried to thank him for his kindness and dedication. Remy was overjoyed, knowing that he had helped make Christmas an unforgettable celebration for everyone. From that day on, Remy the Reindeer was celebrated as the greatest Christmas hero of all time. Children from all over the world hummed his name while opening their presents, and every year when he put on his harness to go on tour, he knew he was the luckiest and most loved reindeer of all. And so, Remy lived happily and fulfilled until the end of his days, surrounded by the warmth and love of all those who adored him. Rescue in the Heart of the Bamboo, the incredible story of Kiko the Koala and his friends from the forest. Once upon a time, in a beautiful tropical forest, there was a little koala named Kiko. Kiko lived peacefully in the trees, eating bamboo leaves and playing with his friends, the birds and monkeys. But one day, a big, bad snake entered the forest and frightened all the animals. Kiko decided to hide in the bamboo fields, where he knew the snake didn't like to go. He skillfully made his way between the tall, densely planted stalks, blending in perfectly among the green leaves. He didn't move, holding his breath, hoping the snake wouldn't notice him. The days passed, but Kiko remained hidden in the bamboo fields, feeding on fresh leaves and drinking morning dew. He was alone, but he felt safe. He watched the world around him, listening to the birds singing and the rustling of leaves in the wind. Meanwhile, the other animals in the forest were searching for Kiko, worried not to find him. They held a meeting to discuss the situation and come up with a plan to save their friend. The monkeys proposed to set a trap for the snake, while the birds sought allies among the birds of prey to help them. 
Finally, all the animals agreed to set Kiko free. They headed towards the bamboo fields, ready to confront the snake to save their friend. But when they arrived, they were surprised to see that Kiko was already swinging on the branches, waiting for them with a radiant smile. The snake had been chased out of the forest by a group of foxes who saw him as a threat to their territory. The animals were delighted to find Kiko safe and sound and organized a big party to celebrate their victory. They danced and sang all night, happy to be reunited and safe. Kiko was grateful to his friends for their courage and determination to save him. He promised not to hide in the bamboo fields anymore, but to stay with the other animals in the forest to help and protect them. And so, Kiko lived happily with his friends in joy and harmony for the rest of his days. Simba and the Magic Waterfall A story of courage, teamwork and friendship in the African savannah. Once upon a time in the African savanna, there was a lion named Simba. Simba was a proud and powerful lion, but he was also curious and adventurous. One day, while he was wandering in the forest, Simba heard a strange noise in the distance. Intrigued, he set off to discover the source of this noise. Following the sound, Simba soon arrived at a clearing, where there was a beautiful waterfall. The waterfalls sparkled in the sun, creating a dazzling rainbow. Simba was amazed by this sight and decided to approach to learn more. As he got closer to the waterfall, he felt the coolness of the water on his fur and heard the gentle murmur of the flowing water. It was a magical place and Simba felt transported to another world. The lion decided to stay for a moment to contemplate the waterfall and let himself be lulled by the soothing sound of the water. He felt peaceful and serene, far from all the worries of the wild life. But suddenly, Simba heard a distress cry coming from behind the falls. Worried, he hurried to the other side to see what was happening. He then discovered a family of trapped leopards on a rock in the middle of the stream, the young leopards were terrified, and their mother was unable to help them. Simba knew he had to intervene to help them. Without hesitation, he jumped into the water and swam to the rock to rescue them. With his strength and agility, Simba managed to bring the leopards back safely to the riverbank. The mother leopard looked at him gratefully and said, Thank you, Simba. You saved my family. We will be eternally grateful to you. Simba smiled humbly and replied, It was the least I could do. We must all help each other in nature. The leopard family thanked him once again before disappearing into the forest. Simba felt proud to have been able to help them, but he knew that his adventure was just beginning. He decided to return to the waterfall to meditate on what had just happened and to think about what to do next. While lounging at the foot of the waterfall, Simba suddenly heard a strange new noise. He looked up and saw a small monkey swinging on a branch above his head. The monkey seemed to be in trouble and was at risk of falling at any moment. Without hesitation, Simba leapt onto the branch and caught the monkey just in time. The monkey looked at him with wide eyes and said, Thank you, kind lion. You saved my life. Simba smiled and replied, It's nothing, it's what friends do. The monkey was grateful and asked if he could stay with him at the waterfall. Simba gladly accepted, and the two friends spent the rest of the day playing and having fun together. As the sun set on the horizon, Simba felt fulfilled and happy. He had discovered a magical new place in the forest and had made new friends. He now knew that life was full of surprises and adventures, and that he only had to follow his heart to find happiness. And so, Simba the lion, 
lived happily and peacefully, surrounded by his friends and the beautiful waterfall that had changed his life forever. Simba and the Mystery of the Snow, An Icy Adventure in the African Jungle Once upon a time, in the African savanna, there was a young lion named Simba. He was the son of the king of the animals, Mufasa, and he grew up learning all the secrets of the jungle. One day, a rumor spread in the savanna, snowflakes were falling from the sky. Simba, fascinated by this idea, decided to set out to discover this strange phenomenon. He roamed the savannah, weaving between bushes and avoiding predators. After several days of walking, he finally arrived at a place where snow covered the ground. Simba had never seen anything so white and cold. He timidly approached, delicately placing his paw on the snow. The icy touch made him shiver, but he was amazed by this new discovery. Simba decided to explore this winter landscape. He jumped and leaped in the snow, leaving traces of his paws behind. He discovered trees covered with snow, birds flying away leaving footprints in the fresh snow. Everything was calm and peaceful, far from the hustle and bustle of the savanna. The lion ventured even further, encountering strange animals like reindeer and squirrels. He learned how to make snowmen and slide on the snow using wooden boards. He had fun like a little child, discovering a new and fascinating world. But soon, Simba began to feel the cold. His fur was not suited for this icy climate, and he began to shiver. He started looking for shelter, a warm place to warm up. That's when he met an old polar bear who offered to host him in his cave. The lion accepted with gratitude and snuggled up against the bear who warmed him with his thick fur. They spent the night together, exchanging stories and advice. Simba learned a lot about snow and cold and thanked the bear for his generosity. The next morning, Simba decided to go back home. He had spent a wonderful time in this snowy landscape, but it was time to reunite with his family and friends. He said goodbye to the polar bear, promising to come back and visit him one day. The lion crossed the savannah, gradually rediscovering the warm sun and golden grass. He told all the animals of the jungle about his incredible adventure in the snow, sharing with them his memories and discoveries. They listened to him with fascination, imagining themselves living such an experience. Simba was happy to return to his daily life, but he kept the memory of the snow and the friendship of the polar bear precious in his heart. He now knew that there was a world of wonders beyond the savanna and that one should never stop exploring and marvelling. And so Simba the lion lived happily, sharing his story with all who wanted to hear it. Simba Conquers the Great Wall, an epic journey through Africa and China. Once upon a time, in a vast African forest, there was a young lion named Simba. Simba was curious to discover the world that lay beyond the trees and plains where he had grown up. One day, he decided to go on an adventure to visit a mysterious place he had heard about, the Great Wall of China. Simba set off, crossing wild expanses and meeting many animals along the way. He befriended a family of monkeys who helped him cross a turbulent river. 
He thanked his new friends and continued his journey, determined to reach his goal. After several days of walking, Simba finally arrived at the foot of the majestic Great Wall of China. He walked along this impressive stone structure, admiring its grandeur and beauty. He met tourists from all over the world who told him the history of this historic monument. Simba felt proud to have completed his journey to the Great Wall of China. He walked along its ramparts, observing the vast landscape stretching out before him. He felt small in front of such grandeur, but also grateful to have had the chance to see such a masterpiece of humanity. While resting in the shade of a tree, Simba was surprised by the arrival of a curious panda. The two animals looked at each other for a moment before starting to chat happily. The panda explained to Simba that he lived not far from the Great Wall and offered to show him around the area. Together, Simba and the panda travelled through the mountains and surrounding villages. Simba discovered Chinese culture, tasted delicious local dishes and learned about ancient traditions. He befriended the locals, all fascinated by this lion who had come from Africa to visit their country. After several days exploring China with the panda, Simba realized how vast and full of surprises the world was. He felt enriched by all the experiences he had lived and grateful for the many friends he had made along the way. It was time for Simba to resume his journey and return home to the African forest. He said goodbye to his new friends with a touch of sadness, but also with a smile on his face, enriched by all the adventures he had experienced. Upon returning home, Simba told all the animals in the forest about his incredible adventures in China. He shared his love for the distant country and the importance of discovery and encountering other cultures. For the animals of the forest, Simba had become a source of inspiration and wisdom, a lion who had travelled the world to discover its beauty and diversity. And now, every year, the animals of the forest gather to listen to Simba's stories and dream, in turn, of faraway journeys and extraordinary adventures. Simba the Lion, Legend of the African Savannah Once upon a time, in the African Savannah, there was a young lion named Simba. Simba was a brave and curious lion, always ready to explore his territory. One day, a violent storm broke out while Simba was walking near a river. The lightning and thunder startled him, and he decided to hide in a cave to protect himself. Simba patiently waited for the storm to pass, but the more minutes passed, the more the storm intensified. The lightning lit up the dark sky, and the thunder roared so loudly that Simba felt scared. He curled up at the back of the cave, hugging his paws to himself for reassurance. Suddenly, a lightning struck a tree nearby, causing it to fall just next to the cave. Simba shuddered in terror and closed his eyes, praying for the storm to calm down soon. He felt his fur bristle and his heart beating wildly. After long hours of storm, the lightning and thunder eventually faded away. Simba cautiously emerged from his hiding place, still trembling a little, but relieved that the storm had finally passed. He observed the damage caused by the storm and saw broken branches and scattered leaves everywhere. Simba decided to go back home, but on the way he encountered a family of antelopes who had been frightened by the storm and had gotten lost. 
Simba offered to safely return them to their herd, using his sense of smell and his knowledge of the savannah to guide them. The antelopes were grateful to Simba and warmly thanked him. Together, they walked towards the herd, avoiding the broken branches and muddy puddles left by the storm. Simba felt proud to have been able to help the antelopes and bring them back safe and sound. Upon arriving at the herd, Simba was warmly welcomed by the other animals who had all seen him act with courage and compassion. They offered him delicious fruits and friendly caresses as a sign of gratitude. Simba felt filled with joy and pride. The next day, the sun shone again in the sky, dispersing the dark storm clouds. Simba decided to take a walk in the savannah to enjoy the beautiful day in the company of his friends. He felt grateful to be safe and surrounded by so much love and support. Simba now realised that even in the darkest and most frightening moments, he could rely on his friends to help and support him. He also knew it was important to be brave and assist those in need, even if it meant facing his own fears. And so, Simba the lion continued to live exciting adventures in the African savannah, protecting and helping his friends with bravery and determination. He had learned that true strength lay not only in his courage and physical strength, but also in his kindness and compassion towards others. And that's how Simba the lion became a legend of the savannah, loved and respected by all. Simba, the King of Camouflage, a magical adventure in the African savannah. Once upon a time, in the heart of the African savanna, there was a young lion named Simba. He lived with his family in a large and beautiful forest, where they could hunt, play, and rest in peace. Simba was very curious and adventurous. He loved to explore the most remote places of the forest with his friends, the other animals. One day, Simba decided to play hide-and-seek with his friends. He hid behind a large tree, trying to camouflage himself as best as possible. The other animals started looking for him, but Simba was so well hidden that they had a hard time finding him. Finally, it was Timon the meerkat who discovered his hiding spot and declared, Simba, you truly are the king of camouflage. After playing for hours, Simba and his friends decided to explore a mysterious place in the forest that no one had ever talked about. Along the way, they encountered many obstacles and challenges, but together they managed to overcome them. Proud of their courage and friendship, they continued their exploration until they reached a magical clearing. In this clearing, they discovered a majestic tree with shimmering foliage, at the top of the tree, a fairy appears and says to them, Welcome, dear animals. You have followed your heart and your instincts to arrive here. You have shown that unity is strength and that friendship is the greatest treasure of all. Simba and his friends were amazed by these words and promised to always stay united and supportive. The fairy then gave them gifts of magic wands that would allow them to fulfill their dearest dreams. Simba decided to use his to make the forest even more beautiful and lively. He planted trees, created rivers and waterfalls, and made sure that all the animals found food and shelter. His generosity and kindness made him a true king of the savannah, respected and loved by all. From that day on, Simba and his friends continued to explore the forest, play, and have fun together. Every day was a new adventure, every encounter a source of inspiration and learning. And even if challenges sometimes arose in their path, they knew that by staying united, nothing could stop them. Thus, Simba the lion became a living legend, a symbol of courage, friendship, and generosity. His forest had become a true earthly paradise, where all the animals lived in harmony and peace. And every evening at sunset, 
Simba watched over his kingdom, proud and grateful to have found his place in this wonderful world. Snow Llama, The Adventures of Leon in the High Plateaus of the Andes Once upon a time, in the high plateaus of the Andes, there was a llama named Leon. He lived peacefully among the ruins of the ancient Inca pyramids, feeding on the tender grass that grew between the millennium-old stones. One day, as he was peacefully walking in the mountains, a snowstorm hit the region. Leon was fascinated by this strange white substance that covered everything in its path. He could feel the coolness of the snow under his feet and enjoyed leaving traces of his steps in the powdery snow. The days passed and the snow continued to fall incessantly. The Inca pyramids were now covered with a thick white coat, completely transforming the landscape. Leon was amazed by this new aspect of his surroundings and spent hours playing in the snow. He joyfully discovered that he could slide down the snowy slopes by letting himself be carried by his weight, creating fun tracks behind him. One morning, while exploring a seldom-used trail, Leon spotted a group of children from nearby villages having fun building a snowman. Intrigued by this activity, he approached slowly, drawn in by the excitement and joy radiating from the group. The children were surprised to see a llama approaching them, but they warmly welcomed Leon and invited him to join in building the snowman. Together, they rolled large snowballs and stacked them to form the body of the snowman. Leon, agile and curious, added his personal touch by including strands of grass and rocks for the eyes and buttons. The children laughed out loud when they saw the snowman resembling a llama, whom they affectionately named Snowyon. The day passed quickly in a good mood and complicity. The children and Leon built igloos, threw snowballs at each other, and slid down the snowy slopes. They shared a delicious snack made of corn and cooked potatoes that they had brought in their bags. At sunset, the children thanked Leon for this memorable day and promised to come back the next day for new adventures in the snow. Moved by such generosity and joy, Leon let a tear of happiness escape and lay down comfortably in the cold snow lulled by the gentle murmur of the wind in the peaks. The clouds slowly drifted away to reveal a starry and twinkling sky. Leon the Lama peacefully fell asleep, surrounded by the silence of the Andean night. He dreamt of new encounters, new games, and new discoveries in this enchanting and magical world of snow on the Inca pyramids and in his sleep, he cracked a radiant smile, promising to remain faithful to these wonderful moments of sharing and friendship. The Adventure of Sony, Searching for the Legendary Cheese in Space and Sky Once upon a time, in a small town located in the heart of the countryside, there was a little mouse named Sony. Sony was a very curious and adventurous mouse, always seeking new discoveries and exciting adventures. One day, while wandering in a field, she heard about a mysterious cheese located in space and the sky, miles away. Intrigued by this news, Sony decided to embark on an incredible expedition to find this legendary cheese. With her small backpack on her back, Sony set off into the unknown. She climbed mountains, crossed tumultuous rivers, and faced dangerous predators, but nothing could stop her determination. After several days of travel, Sony finally arrived at the border of space and sky. 
She looked up and saw a vast starry sky stretching as far as the eye could see, illuminated by the glow of thousands of twinkling stars. Without hesitation, Sony launched into space, floating freely through planets and galaxies. She was fascinated by the beauty of this mysterious universe, but she could not forget her main mission, to find the legendary cheese. After hours of exploration, Sony finally spotted a small golden glow in the distance. She hurried towards it and discovered a huge piece of cheese shining like gold. Sony's joy was indescribable. She had finally found what she had been searching for for so long. She relished in the delicious cheese, savouring every bite with delight. But suddenly, a strange noise echoed in the space. Sony turned around and saw a group of alien mice heading towards her. They seemed furious to see Sony claiming their precious cheese. Sony realised that she had inadvertently disturbed the inhabitants of space and the sky. She apologised humbly and explained to them that she didn't know that the cheese belonged to them. The extraterrestrial mice were touched by Sony's sincerity and decided to forgive her. They invited her to share their feast and explore together the wonders of the universe. Sony was thrilled by this unexpected encounter. She not only found cheese, but also new fantastic friends. Together, they travelled through the depths of space and sky, discovering unsuspected wonders and living extraordinary adventures. And that's how Sony the Mouse lived unforgettable experiences and learned that sometimes the greatest discoveries are found where one least expects them. The Caramel Heroes and the Mice, a love as boundless as the sky. Once upon a time, in a small seaside village, there was a ginger cat named Caramel. Caramel was a playful and mischievous cat, always looking for adventures and new friendships. One day, as he was strolling by the river, he heard faint squeaks coming from the reeds. Curious, he headed towards the sound and discovered a family of mice who seemed to be in distress. The mice were trapped in an old fishing net abandoned by a fisherman. Without wasting a second, Caramel got to work to free them. With his sharp claws and infinite patience, he managed to undo the net and release the mice. Grateful, the mice thanked him by dancing joyfully around him. Caramel smiled, happy to have been able to help these small, fragile creatures. From that day on, Caramel and the mice became inseparable. They played together in the fields, crept through the tall grass, and chased the insects that slipped into dark corners. The mice learned to trust Caramel and consider him as a member of their family. They helped and protected each other forming an inseparable team. One day, a terrible storm hit the village, causing floods and destroying many houses. Caramel and the mice had to take refuge in an old abandoned attic to escape the wrath of nature. Together, they braved the storm, comforting each other and holding tight to each other to not give in to fear. After the storm, the village was in ruins, and the residents were desperate. Caramel and the mice decided to help them by gathering food and supplies to assist them in rebuilding. They worked day and night, tirelessly, to restore the village to its former glory. Their dedication and courage inspired the residents, who also joined in the work united in adversity. Gradually, the village rose from its ashes, stronger and more united than ever. The residents thanked Caramel and the mice for their precious help and now considered them as heroes. Caramel was proud to have been able to help his community. 
and the mice were grateful to have found in him a loyal and protective friend. Together, they continued to play and have fun, forming a unique and close-knit family. And so it was that Caramel the Ginger Cat and the Mice composed a story of solidarity, friendship, and courage that would be engraved in memories for eternity. They were living proof that even the greatest differences could be overcome by love and compassion. And whenever the storm raged, the village remembered these quiet heroes who had managed to give hope to all. Because, after all, in this sometimes cruel world, there is nothing more precious than friendship. The Enchanted Adventures of Leah the Giraffe in Search of the Perfect Tree Once upon a time, there was a small giraffe named Leah who lived in the African savanna. Leah was a curious and adventurous giraffe who loved to explore the vast expanses of her beautiful land. But there was one thing that particularly fascinated her. Trees. As a giraffe, she loved to feed on the tender and juicy leaves that grew at the top of trees. But one day, she noticed that some trees were too tall for her. Intrigued, she decided to embark on a quest to find the tallest and most lush tree of all. Leah set off, journeying through the savanna in search of the perfect tree. She encountered many animals along her way, who pointed her in different directions to follow. Finally, after days of walking, she arrived in front of a massive and majestic tree. Its trunk was wide and its branches stretched high into the sky. Leah felt excited at the prospect of climbing to the top to finally reach the longed-for leaves. She began to climb the tree with agility, using her long neck to reach the highest branches. The birds were chirping joyfully around her, wishing her good luck. Finally, after a long effort, she reached the coveted leaves. They were delightfully fresh and juicy, just as she had imagined. Leah enjoyed them, promising herself to come back regularly to this tree. As she was enjoying her snack at the top of the tree, Leah heard a strange noise coming from the treetop. Curious, she looked up and saw a clumsy little monkey who had lost his way. The monkey seemed completely disoriented and unable to climb back down. Leah, being a generous soul, knew she had to help him. She carefully climbed down from the tree and started talking to the monkey to reassure him. She explained to him how to find his way back down and offered to help him make it to the ground. The monkey, grateful, joyfully accepted. Together, they descended safely and promised to remain friends forever. After this beautiful encounter, Leah continued her quest in search of other trees to explore. She found trees with strange shapes, trees with vibrant colors, and trees with delicious fruits. Each tree had its own story to tell, and Leah listened carefully, carrying with her precious memories of each place. Over time, Leah became an expert in tree climbing, climbing high into the sky to gaze at the magnificent landscapes that stretched as far as the eye could see. She had become a legend among her animal friends, who admired her for her bravery and determination. Although the search for the perfect tree was over, Leah knew that each tree was special in its own way, and that there were always new adventures to discover. And that's how Leah the giraffe continued to travel through the savanna, always looking for new challenges to overcome and new friendships to form. She had found her place in this vast and wonderful world, and knew that as long as she had trees to climb, her life would always be full of surprises and magic. And that's exactly what she cherished most in the world. The End The Penguin of Waterlight, The Aquatic Adventures of Pingu in Paris Once upon a time, in the beautiful city of Paris, there was a little penguin named Pingu. Pingu was a very curious and adventurous penguin. One day he decided to leave his igloo in Antarctica to explore the world. 
He crossed oceans, deserts, and mountains to finally arrive in Paris. In Paris, Pingu was fascinated by the beauty of the Seine, so he decided to dive into the river and swim through the city. The people who saw him swimming in the Seine were amazed by his grace and agility. They followed him along the quays, taking photos and videos to immortalize this unique moment. Pingu loved swimming in the Seine. He enjoyed the coolness of the water, the beautiful scenery passing by, and the encounters he made along the way. He became friends with the fish, ducks, and swans that inhabited the river. Together, they spent hours exploring every corner of the Seine. One day, Pingu heard about a swimming competition taking place on the Seine. He decided to enter to showcase his swimming skills. On the day of the competition, Pingu found himself facing other aquatic animals such as dolphins, seals, and sea lions. Despite their speed, Pingu swam with grace and determination, reaching the finish line first and winning the competition. After his victory, Pingu became a celebrity in Paris. People recognized him in the street and all wanted to take a photo with him. Newspapers and television channels were clamoring for interviews with him. Pingu was thrilled, but he didn't forget his friends from the Seine with whom he continued to swim and have fun. One day, while exploring a new neighborhood in Paris, Pingu heard a cry for help. He rushed to see what was happening and discovered a little kitten stuck in a tree by the Seine. Without hesitation, Pingu dove into the water swam to the tree, grabbed the kitten in his beak, and brought it safely back to the shore. The residents of the neighborhood applauded and thanked him for his bravery and generosity. From that day on, Pingu became the hero of Paris. The children cherished and adored him, asking for stories and anecdotes about his adventures in the Seine. Pingu was proud of his newfound fame, but he remained humble and modest, content to swim peacefully in the river and enjoy the beauty of the City of Light. The seasons passed and Pingu became more and more popular. He even received a special invitation from the President of the Republic to attend an official dinner at the Elysee Palace. Pingu was honored and moved by this invitation and decided to attend the dinner dressed in his finest bow tie. The dinner at the Elysee was a memorable evening for Pingu. He met important personalities, famous artists, and renowned chefs. He tasted exquisite dishes and even danced a tango with the First Lady. Pingu was over the moon and promised to keep this memory engraved in his heart forever. After dinner, Pingu returned to his igloo in Antarctica, his heart filled with wonderful memories and beautiful encounters. He told his penguin friends all about his adventures in Paris and the magic of the Seine. The penguins listened captivated, their eyes shining with admiration. And so Pingu the penguin continued to swim in the Seine in Paris, having fun and exploring every corner of the river. He had become a legend, a symbol of hope and courage for all who had met him. And even though Pingu had returned home, his heart remained forever tied to the beautiful city of Paris. The Epic Race of Pingu Legend of an Agile and Determined Penguin Once upon a time, in a world covered in ice and snow, there was a young penguin named Pingu. Pingu lived on a vast ice floe, surrounded by other penguins who shared his daily life. Every day, Pingu would have fun sliding on the ice, jumping from one block to another, and diving into the icy water to catch fish. Pingu was a very agile and fast penguin. He was the fastest of all the penguins on the ice floe, and often won races organized among them. The other penguins admired him for his grace and agility, and he had become a true legend among his community. One day, Pingu decided to take on an even greater challenge. He wanted to cross the entire ice floe from north to south in just one day. The other penguins watched him with amazement, wondering if it was really possible to achieve such a feat, but Pingu was determined and would not back down to prove his worth. He began his crossing before dawn, racing at full speed on the smooth and shiny ice. 
The sun was slowly rising on the horizon, illuminating the white landscape with its warm rays. Pingu was zigzagging between ice blocks, avoiding crevasses and obstacles with impressive agility. As the day went on, Pingu began to feel tired. His legs were heavy and his movements were becoming less fluid, but he refused to give up. He was determined to reach his goal no matter what. Finally, after hours of effort and perseverance, Pingu finally arrived at the southern tip of the ice floe. The other penguins were eagerly waiting for him, their eyes shining with admiration. Pingu was exhausted but happy. He had succeeded in his challenge and proven to everyone his determination and courage. The other penguins celebrated in honor of Pingu, praising him as a hero. Pingu was moved by so much attention and recognition. He felt proud of himself and grateful to all those who had supported him in his quest. From that day on, Pingu was even more respected and admired by his community. He continued to train and push his limits, becoming a source of inspiration for all the penguins in the ice field. And every time he slid on the ice, his joy and determination illuminated the Arctic landscape with their brilliance. The Fearless Giraffe The Unforgettable Adventure of Leah in the Desert of Sand Once upon a time, in the African savanna, there was a giraffe named Leah. Leah was a curious giraffe always seeking new adventures and discoveries. One day, while she was walking with her zebra friends, Leah spotted in the distance a vast desert of sand. Intrigued by this arid and mysterious landscape, Leah decided to venture into it alone. Her friends tried to dissuade her, reminding her that deserts were dangerous and inhospitable. But Leah was determined and did not want to give up the opportunity to discover a new world. She crossed the boundary separating the savannah from the desert and embarked on this new adventure. The sun was shining brightly, the sand was scorching under her hooves, but Leah was not discouraged. She moved forward slowly, observing the endless dunes, amazed by the beauty of this desert landscape. As she moved forward, Leia noticed the life that inhabited this desert. Lizards slithered between the rocks, scorpions hid under the stones, and birds flew over the dunes in search of food. Leia was amazed by such diversity and beauty. She also met desert inhabitants, such as camels and fennecs, who taught her the secrets of survival in this hostile environment. Leah was grateful for their valuable assistance and became friends with them, promising to visit them regularly. After several days of exploration, Leah realized that she had covered a great distance and that it was time to go home. She returned to the edge of the desert where her zebra friends warmly welcomed her happy to see her safe and sound. Leah told her friends all the wonders she had discovered in the sandy desert, sharing with them her memories and experiences. The zebras were fascinated by her stories and thanked her for having the courage to explore this mysterious place. Since that day, Leia kept the memory of her adventure in the desert of sand within her, an experience that had enriched her life and allowed her to discover a fascinating new world. And every time she looked at the distant dunes, she remembered with emotion this incredible adventure that had marked her existence forever. The Legend of Simba and Pablo an unbreakable friendship in the African savanna. 
Simba the lion lived happily in the African savannah. He was proud of his golden mane and legendary strength. But despite his pride, he sometimes felt lonely. One day, while walking in the jungle, he heard a melodious song coming from a tree. Intrigued, he looked up and saw a colourful parrot joyfully singing. The parrot was named Pablo, and he was a true virtuoso of music. Simba was impressed by the beauty of his singing and the brightness of his colourful feathers. He approached the tree and greeted the parrot with a friendly roar. Pablo, delighted to meet the lion, offered to become his friend. Simba joyfully accepted, and the two companions spent long hours discussing and having fun together. Pablo taught Simba how to sing and dance, while the lion told him exciting stories about the savannah. The days went by, and their friendship grew stronger and stronger. One day, Simba met a lioness named Nala. He fell madly in love with her and spent all his time by her side. Pablo, feeling a little neglected, felt sad and abandoned. He couldn't understand why Simba preferred the company of the lioness over him. But one day, as Simba and Nala were out hunting, they were attacked by a group of hungry hyenas. The two friends found themselves in great danger, but Pablo, with his intelligence and agility, managed to save them. He used his singing talents to attract the attention of the hyenas and allowed Simba and Nala to escape unharmed. This heroic gesture made Simba realize all the love and loyalty that Pablo had for him. He apologized for neglecting him and promised to never neglect him again. Touched by this declaration, Pablo forgave him and offered him his unwavering friendship. Now the three companions were inseparable. They spent their days playing and exploring the savannah, always ready to support each other in case of danger. Their friendship had become a true strength, able to overcome any obstacles. Simba, Nala and Pablo had become the heroes of the savannah, respected and loved by all the animals that lived there. Their friendship was a source of joy and happiness for everyone, and they experienced great adventures together, always united by an unbreakable bond. And that's how Simba the lion made a parrot friend named Pablo, and their friendship lasted for eternity, lighting up the savannah with its warmth and magic. The End The Race for Gold, The Incredible Adventure of Nonors at the Olympic Games Once upon a time, in the small town of Teddyland, there was a teddy bear named Teddy. Teddy was the bravest, the strongest, and the most athletic of all the residents of Teddyland. He especially loved running, jumping, and swimming. One day, Teddy heard that there would be the Olympic Games in Paris, and he immediately decided to register. He trained every day to be ready for the competition. Teddy Bear trained so hard that he ended up being in better shape than ever. His stuffed animal friends encouraged and supported him in his training. They prepared healthy and balanced meals for him so that he could stay in top form. Teddy Bear was determined to win a medal at the Paris Olympics, and he knew he could count on the support of his friends. The day of the Olympic Games finally arrived. Teddy Bear flew to Paris with his stuffed animal friends and was amazed by the grandeur of the city. He was impressed by the Olympic Stadium and the number of stuffed animals from around the world who had come to participate in the competition. Teddy Bear was excited and a little nervous, but he was ready to give his best. The first event that Teddy Bear participated in was the running race. He dashed onto the track with determination, running as fast as his little legs would allow. His stuffed animal friends cheered for him from the stands, shouting his name at the top of their lungs. Teddy Bear crossed the finish line first, winning the gold medal and making Palouche Land proud. 
The trials continued and No Norris competed brilliantly in all disciplines. He won silver and bronze medals, making him the most decorated teddy bear at the Paris Olympic Games. Nunors was filled with joy and gratitude towards his friends who supported him throughout the competition. He was proud to represent Teddyland and show the world what teddy bears were capable of. After the Olympics, Teddy Bear returned home to Teddyland, where he was welcomed as a hero. His plush friends organized a big party in his honor, with games, music, and lots of hugs. Teddy Bear was grateful to all those who had supported him in his Olympic adventure, and he knew he was surrounded by love and friendship. Months passed, and Teddy Bear continued to train for the next Olympic Games. He dreamed of winning new medals, and once again bringing glory to the name of Teddy Land. He knew it would take a lot of effort and determination, but he was ready to face the challenge. Teddy Bear was a true champion, both in sports and in heart, and he knew he could accomplish great things with the support of his stuffed animal friends. The Secrets of Rainbows, Simba's Magical Adventure in the Wild Desert Once upon a time, in the vast desert of Simba, there was a brave and curious lion who loved to roam the arid expanses in search of adventure. One day, as he walked under a scorching sun, he saw something strange in the distance. It was an oasis, a shimmering expanse of blue water surrounded by lush palm trees. Simba couldn't help but approach, both surprised and intrigued by this unexpected sight. Approaching the oasis, Simba felt the coolness of the water on his warm fur, and his thirst was quenched. He laid down in the shade of a palm tree and let himself be lulled by the gentle sound of the flowing water. It was a peaceful and magical place, a true haven of peace in the middle of the desert. As Simba rested, a light rain began to fall, further refreshing the atmosphere. And it was then that he saw something wonderful. Rainbows formed in the sky, illuminating the desert with bright, shimmering colors. Simba was awestruck by this splendid sight. Never had he seen anything so beautiful. He then decided to follow the rainbows, guided by their beauty and mystery. He crossed the desert, climbing hot sand dunes and crossing rocky expanses. With every step, the rainbows seemed to dance before him, encouraging him to continue his quest. After hours of walking, Simba finally arrived at another oasis, bigger and more majestic than the first. There, he met other animals who had come to drink and rest. They told him about the magic of rainbows, the legends surrounding these natural phenomena, and how lucky he was to have seen them. Simba spent several days in this oasis, exploring the surroundings, discovering hidden waterfalls and secret caves. He made friends with other animals and shared moments of joy and laughter with them. Together, they admired the rainbows that regularly appeared in the sky, lighting up the desert with their vibrant colors. Finally, the time came for Simba to resume his journey, to continue traveling through the desert. But he took with him the memory of those magical oases, of those enchanting rainbows engraved forever in his lion adventurer heart. And every time he saw a rainbow in the sky, he remembered those moments of happiness and magic and knew that there was always beauty and hope, even in the most arid and inhospitable places. And so Simba continued on his journey, ready to face new adventures with the hope of encountering the magic of rainbows in the desert once again.
The Song of the Mountain, The Incredible Adventure of Simba in the African Savannah. Once upon a time, in the African savanna, there was a young lion named Simba. He was curious and adventurous, always looking for new discoveries. One day, while playing with his lion cub friends, Simba decided to venture further than usual. He was so absorbed in the wonders of nature that he didn't realize he had strayed away from his companions. Soon, Simba found himself alone and lost in the savannah. He was scared and didn't know how to find his way back. He began calling for help, hoping that someone would come to his rescue. But no one answered his calls. Simba started to panic, wondering if he would ever see his family and friends again. It was then that he heard a sweet song coming from the distance. Intrigued, Simba set off to discover where this song was coming from. He crossed the savannah, following the sound of the voice, and soon he arrived at a small village where a tribe of kind people lived. They welcomed Simba warmly and offered him food and water. Simba was grateful to these kind villagers, but he couldn't help but think about his family. He asked the villagers if they had seen any other lions in the area, but they shook their heads in negation. Simba was discouraged, but he knew he had to continue his quest to find his way back. The villagers pointed out a large mountain in the distance to him, telling him that it was the shortest way back to the savannah where he lived. Simba thanked them and set off determined to find his family. He climbed the mountain with courage, overcoming the difficulties and dangers that stood in his way. Finally, after long days of travel, Simba arrived at the edge of the savannah, recognizing the trees and rivers he had always known. He started calling out again, this time hoping that his friends would find him. And that's what happened. Because his family and friends heard his calls and came to meet him, came to. They were so happy to find Simba safe and sound, and welcomed him with hugs and roars of joy. Simba was relieved and grateful to be reunited with his family, realizing how much he cared for them. They made him promise not to wander off alone in the savannah again, to avoid getting lost once more. Since that day, Simba always stayed by the side of his family and friends, sharing with them beautiful adventures and moments of great happiness. He now knew that nothing was more precious than the love and support of those who were dear to him. And even though he continued to be curious and adventurous, he always did so in the company of his loved ones to share together the wonders of the world around them. The Wet Adventures of Toby Dancing in the Rain to Find Freedom Once upon a time, in the lush and large jungle, there was a tiger named Toby. Toby was a mischievous and curious tiger who loved to wander through the jungle and discover new places. But one day, a torrential rain fell on the jungle, forcing Toby to hide to stay dry. He took shelter under a big tree and waited for the rain to stop. But the drops didn't seem ready to stop. Toby started to get bored and to feel loneliness overcome him. He then decided to seek shelter in a cave he had spotted a few days earlier during one of his explorations. The cave was dark and damp, but at least Toby was sheltered from the rain. He lay down on the cold ground and closed his eyes, hoping that the rain would stop soon. But unfortunately, the rain continued to fall relentlessly, and Toby began to feel more and more lonely and sad. 
So, to entertain himself, Toby started thinking about all the adventures he had experienced in the jungle. He remembered the day he had discovered a beautiful hidden lake in the heart of the forest, as well as the time he had managed to escape from a venomous snake by sneaking through the bushes. But despite all these comforting thoughts, Toby began to feel anxious. The rain didn't stop, and he started to fear being stuck in the cave forever. He then decided to leave his hiding spot and face the rain, even if it meant getting soaked to the bone. Once outside, Toby realized how beautiful and refreshing the rain was. He started dancing under the drops and jumping for joy, completely forgetting his fear of getting wet. He ran through the jungle, splashing water everywhere he went, and felt more free than ever before. Finally, the rain began to diminish, making way for a beautiful rainbow that illuminated the sky. Toby smiled, knowing that the rain was finally over. He returned to his cave, grateful for this adventure that had allowed him to overcome his fear and find beauty even in the darkest days. From that day on, Toby was no longer afraid of the rain. He knew that even when it was raining, he could find happiness and freedom by letting himself be carried away by the water droplets. And every time a storm broke out, Toby remembered that beautiful day when he danced in the rain and felt alive. And he felt grateful for every drop of water falling from the sky because he knew it brought him a new adventure to live. United on the Ice Flow, the story of Pingu and his friends. Once upon a time, in a distant country in the North Pole, there was a little penguin named Pingu. Pingu lived on a frozen ice floe surrounded by other penguins. He loved spending his time sliding on the ice, fishing for fish, and playing with his friends. But one day, a big storm hit the ice floe and carried away part of the ice. Pingu found himself separated from his friends and alone on a drifting piece of ice. He started drifting with the waves, not knowing where he was going or how to find his friends. He felt very lonely and scared, but he decided not to give up and to keep hope. While drifting for several hours, Pingu spotted a familiar silhouette in the distance. It was his friend Popo, who had noticed his disappearance and came to look for him. Popo had built an ice raft to help Pingu. He managed to catch Pingu and brought him safely back to the ice floe. The other penguins were relieved to find Pingu and organised a party in his honour. Pingu was very touched by so much love and solidarity. He spoke to thank all his friends and promised not to stray so far from the ice floe again. Days passed and life resumed its course on the ice floe. Pingu and his friends continued to slide on the ice, fish for fish, and have fun together. They realised that unity is strength and that as long as they remained united, they could overcome all challenges. One day, a whale approached the ice floe and asked for help. She was injured and needed care. The penguins all mobilised to help the whale. They treated her, brought her food, and watched over her until she was fully recovered. The whale thanked them warmly and promised to come back one day to help them in turn. This experience further strengthened the friendship among the penguins. They had understood that by supporting each other and showing generosity, they could achieve great things. Pinga was proud of his friends and everything they had accomplished together. And so, life on the ice resumed, marked by solidarity, friendship and joy. The penguins continued to live in harmony, helping each other and sharing beautiful moments together.
Pingu was grateful to have such wonderful friends and to be able to enjoy every moment spent in their company. And that's how the story of Pingu and his friends ended in joy and happiness.